What's up guys, Cole Townsend here, and in today's video, we're gonna be installing, installing these awesome aluminum door panels into the Pro-Am car, the E36 M3. I'm gonna call it Pro-Am car from now on because this thing is gonna be going, taking me to Pro-Am at Evergreen next year, hopefully. But right now, we're just installing these brackets that I have to go on, there's a bunch of them, and the little things we have to do to get these door panels in. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and install this bracket right here for the door handle. So basically, this bracket is a spacer for the door handle. The door handle's right down here. And it just pushes the door handle out from the body of the car a little bit. So to meet up with where the new uh, uh, handle spot will be. And the reason I'm going to aluminum door panels on this car, there's no reason to do this, guys, unless your door panels are crappy, or you don't have door panels, I don't. Or, the reason I don't have door panels is because I have these door bars, and my uh, stock door panels don't fit. They're M3 black door cards, and they're in really good condition, so I was like, why don't I just sell those instead of trying to cut them? Because I really don't want to cut them, it, it hurt, because it was expensive to get them in the first place. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, put all the brackets on, and I'll show you guys how to do this. Install. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and threw some rivets right there, there, and there to hold this bracket on securely. It is not going anywhere now. Uh, they recommend you use bolts, I think, because so there's a bunch of bolts in the package that don't really go anywhere else. But I decided to use rivets because it's easier and I'm never going to take those off. If I do, just drill the rivets out. A lot easier than getting a wrench. Installing this guy, which is our door pole. Um, for that, they have a bolt and nut. What I did on the other side over here, I did it earlier this morning. Never used a tool before, but it's called a rib nut tool. Pretty cool. It basically like putting a nut into sheet metal or something like that. And you can't see it, but I'll show you guys on the other side. Just put it on there. That is not going anywhere. It's way easier to try to get a wrench in there to hold the back of the nut. That's one flaw that I saw with this kit was they use nuts and Getting a wrench into the window area in there is really hard. So let's get this done on the other side and I'll show you guys how to use a rivet nut gun. All right guys, so I just went ahead and drilled my hole right there. So now we're gonna take this little guy right here, which is our rib nut, and those little line pieces on there, it's actually gonna crush like a, like a regular rivet would do. And it's gonna crush behind the thing and the tool threads into it, right? And it pulls the threads tighter and that is what crushes it behind there. Um, you really wanna be careful with these cause you can mess your panel up, but you're never gonna see it back here. So I figure like if I do mess it up, I can just put another one right next to it. But anyways, I, didn't, I haven't messed it up yet. Let's keep it that way hopefully. And let's go ahead and put this rib nut into the pan. All right guys, as you can see right there, rib nuts in. There's the threaded piece, put it on, it'll thread in. Yeah, sick. So basically, thread it in just like that, and you're all good to go. No need to get a wrench somehow, and like just try and finagle it in there. You can just tighten this guy down right here, and you are done. Just like that. I just realized, see that right there, Porsche. The door pole shrouds and door poles are from a Porsche, uh, probably like a GT3, GT3 RS I guess. I think that's the one that comes with the little things. But yeah, these are Porsche parts. That's cool. Uh, not not the whole door card, just like the pole. But it's basically a race car now because of the Porsche parts on it. Yeah. So you guys are probably wondering what I'm going to do because I lost my speakers. Well, this car is not going full, full, full drift car right now. But, because I want to drive it through the winter a little bit. But, for now, I'm going to go ahead. These things have four inch speaker cutouts, which means you can put an aftermarket uh, speaker in there instead of having to use BMW speakers. And they're really expensive. That's why I never replaced mine. And I didn't have door speakers the whole time. So I was kind of stoked when I saw this option. So I went ahead, splurged, and got some JBL speakers. Let's go ahead, throw them in the panel. 
and then we'll figure out how to hook them up. I've never done audio before. I mean, this is just plugging in two wires. It can't be that hard, right? I'm gonna go ahead and drill out all the holes. So I already have, I drilled out all the holes already, but like right in here, each hole is drilled out. I used a bolt here, here, and one down here, as you guys can see. Just like a placeholder, uh, they're just 10 mil, or uh, M6 bolts to hold the door in place so I can drill all the holes out. Now I'm gonna take the door panel off so I can drill the bigger holes because there needs to be a bigger hole in the door itself and in this panel to be able to put the rib nuts in and then put all the nice hardware in to hold the door on. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take this off and drill a bunch of holes. All right guys, so it's now the next day and as you can see, the door panel's installed. I'm pretty stoked on how it came out. Um, only one of the rib nuts spun and it was on that side because I stripped a bolt when I was putting it in. My bad, but it's all good. I probably won't ever even take these off until I do the full cage, but that's like in a few months. So at that point, I'll just have to use the angle grinder to cut it out, but it's fine, not a big deal. I'm stoked on having speakers though. I turned these on last night and I would play it for you guys, but I don't wanna get copyrighted for anything. And wow, these, these things sound amazing. But one thing I did mess up, as you guys can see, it's a little bit too low. Right here, there's a gap. There's no gap up there. So I can't run my little like surround piece for the um, door latch. Anyways, that's not really my fault entirely. It's also the company's fault because where they mount, like, where they have you mount it is like, it's too low and happened on the other side too. But not a big deal. I'm not too concerned about it. It's a race car, not really a show car, you know? But these look amazing. I think I'm gonna paint them, uh, paint match them to the car, or I might just paint them black, uh, like actually spray them though, a real gun. But they look amazing. The speakers are sick, and I'm so stoked to, like, to have like a door pull instead of having to like reach into like the window mechanism to like close the door, because obviously my other panels are up there. If you guys want those panels that are for sale, uh, hit me up. I'm asking like 200 bucks. That's pretty fair. Uh, they're immaculate, so yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and peace out.